All right, so today we're gonna do another unboxing and there is no surprise for this one because it is printed right on the side of the box. Today we're gonna be unboxing the Marvel Dice Throne Battle Chest. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what we get inside. Okay. So we got, there's that like some uh, promo cards as well oh that looks nice all right anything else nope that's all that is in the box so we got the battle chest and the promo cards here so we're gonna go ahead and open this up and see what we find inside all right, so I've gone ahead and I've taken off the saran wrap and everything, and I figure I'd start with going through these fancy uh, little foil um, promo cards we have here. So they have the mythic abilities for the different characters. So if you're wondering what characters come in this, you got Black Panther, you have Black Widow, you have Captain Marvel, Doctor Strange, Loki, the Scarlet Witch, Spider-Man, and Thor. Uh, and what you're going to get in this promo pack here is going to be eight randomizer cards and then you're going to have uh, eight cards per uh, for each hero the promo cards so um, this is what you're going to be getting nice quality cards with this uh, beautiful artwork as they are um, as you're accustomed to with dice throne here are the randomizer cards which i think just look super sweet so really nice cards i even like the backs some really great artwork there so yeah so that's what you can expect from the promo card so let's go ahead and jump right in to the actual battle chest here so let's see if i can slide this baby right off all right there we go all right so here you have all of the different trays and you have the different characters on the side uh, this is different now with this battle chest i know this wasn't in the uh, first or second one but i really like just the look of it and it says dice thrown right there on it which is really cool let's go ahead and pull this out real fast um, i did not get the trays um, so the dice tray or the player mats that kind of stuff um, but if you do have it you can actually fit all of it in the box so let me see if i can get this thing open real quick there we go all right so we have the rule book as well as all of the tokens here um which now uh, i might i really got to get on getting those upgraded tokens through the bgg store which would be really cool and then you also have these standees so you can use the characters in dice throne adventures so that's nice as well these would be really cool i'll be excited to play these in uh in, in adventures so that'd be cool but you know nice cardboard tokens um we'll definitely have to look into possibly getting the acrylic upgraded tokens that'd be really neat so you got all your tokens there and so let's go ahead and jump in and take a look at the actual uh, boards that you're going to get. So one that I've been super excited to check out is Loki. So I'm going to go ahead and grab Loki and we'll be able to take a closer look at his stuff. All right. So they each have their own little packaging, just like you can come to expect from Dice Throne. So we have Loki's board here. Um, so let's just take a look at some of the stuff that you're going to find on these boards. So you have Mockery up here, um, which is your normal basic, you know, three of a kind, four of a kind, five of a kind type of um, thing. Here you're going to be able to gain uh, different tokens that he's going to have access to, which Loki is going to have uh, three different ones. So you're going to have Illusion, you're going to have Bag of Tricks, and Spellbound. So... Um, these look, ah, I'm just so, per this is the one character I was most excited about playing, uh, which was Loki, just because I like that deception, and he's going to have those trickery cards in his deck, which we'll be able to take a look at. Um, let's take a look at his defense. So you only get to roll one dice for his defense, and depending what you roll, you're going to be able to 
gain different tokens or even inflict tokens on the other players, draw extra cards, or even gain um, illusion, it looks like, is the token for that. Um, yeah, so yeah, really interesting stuff. So that's what you're gonna get with Loki there. Um, <clears throat> let's take a look at the other stuff that he's gonna have. There is his CP dial and his health dials there. Uh, look at the super fancy dice. I always love the dice and, and dice throne. Uh, just the different symbols. You got the helmet, you got the little scepter. Um, let's see what else we got this little swirly as well as the, the Loki symbol. That's pretty cool. All right. Um, here are, ooh, let's check this out. These are the different uh, illusion cards, it looks like, maybe. So whether you succeed or failed or partially succeed, I'm not sure how these play in, but uh, I am very excited about uh, what kind of new mechanic that's going to bring. Um, let's see. There we go. And then we have Loki's cards here. Um which I just really like looking at the the artwork in these cards just look really nice. It's you know Marvel, but you have that that dice thrown artwork uh, that you're used to seeing all the time. So yeah, really really nice cards. They're you know look just like all the other dice thrown um, that you're going to be playing with. So pretty excited about that, and everything will just fit right back into. Um, this box so that will be be fun i'm most excited to play this one for sure um let's see maybe i'll open up one more i don't think i don't know if it would be very appealing to look at all of these different ones so i will just do one let's see loki is a level four all right so hopefully that means i'll like him i generally like the higher complexity characters um I'm interested to see where these are going to fall in my top 10 or in all of my rankings, essentially, of uh, Dice Throne characters. Now, I should have, there it is, this is what I want to show off. So in the Kickstarter, you get actually this metal Thor hammer, which is so cool. It says, uh, whoever holds this hammer, if they be worthy, shall process, so let me try that again whoever holds this hammer if they be worthy shall possess the power of thor and this is legitimate metal right here that is such a cool token that is awesome so you have literally mjolnir in your in your little thing if you play with um thor you got these nice dice uh oh man i want to play thor now too just looks awesome Let's see, let's take a look at what his different abilities are. So you have uh, Guard Break, which looks like it's gonna be able to, um, yeah, you can make your attacks undefendable if you roll a one through three. Um, he has the Electrokinesis, where you get to boost the ability to draw a card. You can spend three of them at any time to draw one card. So you're gonna be able to get some more card drawing, which would be really nice. And then you have Mjolnir itself, which is a companion. So you can throw or retrieve to gain bonuses. So begin the game with Mjolnir on your player board and you can throw or retrieve at any time by discarding a card. If the ability tells you to throw or retrieve it, uh, if you do not need, uh, you do not need to discard a card. So when you throw it, you place it on the character and deal one damage as an isolated source of undefendable damage. When you retrieve it, you place it back on your hero, and that's how you're going to get this electrokinesis. So that's a nice kind of push and pull. Do I want to do damage? Do I want to get these tokens so I can draw more cards and potentially sell them to get CP or upgrade my abilities? That's really neat. Um, <clears throat> let's see. You can you cannot. Let's see here. Yeah, you cannot throw Mjolnir at an opponent unless it is at your hero's board. You have to retrieve it first. And in multiplayer games, if an opponent who has Mjolnir is defeated, then you will retrieve it. So that's pretty cool. That's interesting. I love how they're going to play. It's going to feel like Thor. Uh, and yeah, they do such a good job in Dice Throne. Um, 
just being able to make the characters actually feel like the characters you're playing. Well, with that being said, what is his complexity? I'm just curious real quick. So he is a complexity of three. Okay, so complexity of three. So that's Thor. Um, all right, let's look at one more. Let's look at, uh, ah, man, let's look at Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange, I have a feeling, I think he's a higher complexity. So he might be um, one that I'm really interested in as well because he has the different spell cards that he's gonna be doing, which is really neat. His complexity is a five. So he's a little higher, which is awesome. Uh, very great. Let's see, some of his abilities, so he's got the different spells. So spells have prepare and cast effects. So when you prepare a spell, you're gonna place it on the passive ability. Okay, on your passive ability, Book of uh, Vishanti. And then you're gonna perform the prepare effect. When you cast a spell, you may choose any card from your book and perform the cast effect. Oh, that's gonna be so cool. Just being able to have these different passive abilities that you're gonna be getting depending on the different spells you're gonna have. That sounds legit. Um, let's see here, Crimson Bands. So you cannot play cards during the next roll phase. So a player inflicted with this cannot play cards during their next roll phase. Then at the conclusion, you'll discard the token. That's pretty neat. Uh, and then you have Premonition. So you're gonna draw more cards during your income phase. Ooh, so a player with these tokens can spend them once per turn during their income phase to activate one of the following effects. So one token, you get to draw two instead of one. And if you get rid of three tokens, you get to draw three instead of one. Man, that's gonna be nice to be able to just really go through your deck and get the cards that you're looking for. Uh, and then you have Deja Vu, which is positive. So you've got a lot of positives here, it looks like. Uh, restart your offensive roll phase. So instead of activating a an ability, a player with this token may spend it to conclude their turn, their current offensive roll phase and then start a new offensive roll phase. Wow, that's pretty cool, being able to essentially attack twice in a row. Um, so you got his here. Um, let's take a look at his dice and then I just wanna take a look at the different uh, spells that you're gonna have access to during the game. Again, really great quality dice. Let's take a look at the different spell cards. That's what I wanna see. Different spell cards, because that's what's gonna make him unique in this game, uh, and really unique across the board, because nobody else does anything like this. Um, and so that's really cool. So let's see, let's see if we can find these spell cards. Here they are. Wow, okay, you got a lot of spell cards. That's a lot of spell cards. So let's see, how many do you have? You got two, four, six, eight, nine. I'm not missing one, right? Is it just nine? I'll double check real quick. Um, nope, looks like just these nine spell cards. So some have, so they have a prepare effect and then they have a cast effect. So nothing here for images of, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce it. But it says, add one damage to the attack for the cast effect. For each card in your hand, for a maximum of four, then discard this card. Wow. All right. Here, uh, choose an opponent. They lose one CP, which is the prepare effect. Here, you get to add three damage to the attack and then discard this card. So a lot of attack um, modifiers, which are nice. Here, you get to inflict that Crimson Band to an opponent, which is cool. And then under here, you can make an attack undefendable. Wow. All right. That's pretty sweet and then discard it. Here, prepare a chosen player gains deja vu, which was nice. That was the one that lets you um, immediately start another offensive attack, which is cool. And then heal any hero three and then discard this card. Let's see here, prepare. You may remove a status effect token from the chosen player. And then the cast is gonna prepare a spell card from your discard pile. Oh, that'll be neat. So you can use um, the card. You can go back and get one that you really need, which is nice. Gain a CP, and then down here, deal three as an isolated source of undefendable damage to a chosen opponent. So again, more damage, so that's really nice. Here, you're gonna be able to do some more healing. Here, you're gonna be able to gain the premonition, which is gonna help you draw more cards, like we talked about um, when we went over the abilities. Uh, here, gain premonition. Here, you're gonna be able to cast up to two different spells in your discard pile, and then you're gonna discard. Wow, awesome, and oh, if you could just, 
you know, add a ton. Could you imagine just adding uh, four damage and then making it all undefendable or even add, you know, doubling, like adding four and then adding three damage to your cards? That'd be pretty sweet. Uh, you can get some really big hits with playing these combos. And then here, deal one damage as an isolated source, so undefendable damage to a chosen opponent. And then here, add one, uh, and this is going to be your starter spell, so that's nicely uh, labeled there. Add one to an attack, and then you're going to return this to your hand. So that is going to be, this is cool. I just like this. This is something new. There's so many different options you're going to have available to you um, with these spell cards. So that's going to be a super cool aspect to his character, one that I am uh, very excited to play. So that's Doctor Strange. Um, oh man, as much as I want to take a look at another one, maybe I'll save that and we will do some playthroughs of Dice Throne. So I'm going to save that. I'm just going to go through those three if you want to see the others. Um, we'll probably do some, uh, some playthroughs of different characters, but that's going to be Dice Throne Marvel. Uh, super excited about this one. Can't wait to play it. Uh, love that box art. And then... Yeah, so let us know if you're excited about this one. Uh, let us know what characters you would like to see fight, and we will play them, and we'll do a playthrough for you guys. Let us know who you want to see, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.